This morning we learned more about the scope of Wednesday's deadly tornado outbreak that uh, rocked Middle Tennessee in the early morning hours that day. The National Weather Service has confirmed 14 different tornadoes covering 13 counties. The outbreak is now the largest in Middle Tennessee history, passing the 12 twisters of January 24th, 1997. It's a terrible reminder of the danger of severe weather season in this part of the country. It may have you reviewing your severe weather plans, certainly, and in some cases that plan includes a custom storm shelter. The market's expanding here in Middle Tennessee, and this morning Lauren Murphy is live at National Storm Shelters in Smyrna with information about these shelters for the home. That's right, guys. This is exactly what they look like before they're installed. Won't be the fanciest room in your house, but it'll definitely be the safest. And uh, this is what it looks like when it's installed. Take a look right here. Um, a lot of people put this in their carport or on their in their garage. And joining me now is Jeff Turner, the president of National Storm Shelters. And uh, I bet you're getting a lot of calls uh, this week and last week. It is picking up quite a bit. It's that type of time of year, the season's here, and uh, we go from no, no phone calls to dozens a day. And tell me the difference between this, this shelter here and uh, the safe room right over there. Okay, the below ground shelters are by far the safest place you can be. These are rated at F5 and above. You're totally below ground. Um, we're dealing with no side impact, only fallout debris at this point. The above ground shelters are really designed for people that can't get down the steps or, or aren't comfortable getting down there underground, so to speak. Which one do you have in your house? Oh, we go with the F5. That's all we would have. And talk to me about the cost. Well, the cost is really not what you would think. A lot of people are surprised. The below ground shelter installed is $5,500. The above ground shelters range from 39 to 6900. There's a lot more steel in the above ground shelters, so the, the cost is more in steel than the labor. So, below ground shelters really surprisingly quite inexpensive. And if it's not in the budget, we will talk about um, your emergency preparedness plan. Definitely a good time to talk to your family about that and what should be in your emergency kit. That's coming up in our next half hour. But we'll have all Jeff's information on our website. That's WKRN.com. Reporting live in Smyrna, I'm Lauren Murphy, Nashville's News 2. Laura, we appreciate that. I think it has a little value to the home, certainly, uh, when you do something like that. True, for resale value. For resale yeah. value. Peace and of mind. Took the words right out of my mouth, Justin Bruce. Most importantly, the peace of mind. Yeah. 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 Uh, and this is the time of year, uh, late winter, spring, particularly early spring, you know, March, April, particularly when we've had uh, historically our, our worst brushes with severe weather. So time of year where we stay on guard. On our tiptoes. Put a flat screen TV down there. You know, I might spend a lot, a lot of time. Okay, just move in down there. He's <laughs> Why down, not? He's so down be sent there. Uh, his <laughs> man cave. Out of the bus stop this morning.